Welcome back then. The Nifty is at the high point of the day. We have the Bank Nifty as well flying away. Mid caps as well doing quite well. But what's not doing very well is Praj Industries. That stock is under pressure. The numbers look rather weak. We have with us Mr. Nabar, the CEO and MD of the company who joins us currently. Hi Mr. Nabar, thanks so much uh, for joining in today. The numbers don't look that great. Clearly there is some problem with execution because order book is uh, moving higher. But in fact it's not reflecting in the numbers. Yeah, good morning. And... Uh yeah, I mean, sales numbers are not uh, pretty good, but uh, I think we had already mentioned this to our investors that our first half is going to be a little soft. Uh, what what we're looking at is a very, very good order book, and uh, it has come from all our businesses, including some of the emerging businesses have contributed, so that we like. We also have some international uh, orders, which we have won from Argentina and uh, Europe, which, again, gives us a good feeling about the margin profiles. And Indian uh, ethanol industry is doing pretty well uh, from the push that government has given on biofuels program. So I think uh, we already have shared with the investors that our second half would uh, definitely be better, uh, which is always the case that our H1 is uh, slightly softer, H2 is better. Even this, we would repeat it this year. And um, I think we should not just look at this quarter sales numbers and uh, it's not a qualifier. When you say H2 will be better, does it mean that um, there will not be, you know, degrowth? You will have some revenue growth. If yes, what could be the extent of that? High single digits, double digits? A statement of facts is that uh, look at our uh, carry forward order book. Uh, we, we always give uh, a qualifier of executability. Uh, it's an executable carry forward order book, which looks uh, at least 40% higher than the last year's carry forward order book. Uh, I think that should give some indication to our uh, viewers. Uh, our average execution period is uh, close to eight to nine months. So I think that should give a good indication. But uh, we are pretty optimistic about our second half. All right, uh, Mr. Nabar, but uh, you know your margins, I remember a couple of years ago, if I'm not mistaken, it used to be steady in the double digit mark. Currently, uh, margins are sulking at around 5%. So yes, we could see a pickup in revenues in the second half of the year and going ahead. You're sounding quite confident as well. And it appears your investors, uh, they, they as well are looking at that because the stock has recovered a good 4% from the day's low. Can we see margins pick up back towards that double digit or at least higher single digit? Yeah, again, you know, let me do a little bit of analysis of the numbers. I think the variable margin, that means all variable cost together, not just gross margin. Hmm. Uh, I think they have improved over last year's 24% to close to 30%. So there's a 6% increase in the variable margins. Right. Uh, what is, of course, not helped is the total overall sales. I mean, uh, even despite of the mix, which is international is only 33%, which normally in our case is about 50%. You know, we have 45, 50% of international sales which obviously has better margins. Uh, despite of that, uh, our margin at a variable level looks pretty good, and that's what we like. Uh, and as you see the traction on sales numbers come in, uh, you would see the margin expansion happening. Okay. Can you give us a breakup? Your order intake stands at 369 crore in this quarter. Can you tell, tell us how much of it has come in from your traditional ethanol business? How much of it has come in from your, the newer emerging areas of focus, like the high priority business, etc.? And also, the, you, know, you spoke about an overall 40% increase in the order intake. If you could give us the order intake increase on a year-on-year -year basis for your individual segments as well. Certainly. So I think uh, this, this quarter, the, the ethanol orders, that is our core sector orders, the traditional sector orders have been about 70%, and uh, emerging is about 30%. And I think uh, more interestingly, uh, what has happened in the emerging sector is that we have won some very important orders. Uh, an order from an oil and gas major has come in for skids. We also won an international order for wastewater treatment. We also entered into a dairy and foods and beverages sector. So uh, even if in terms of total size of the emerging basket looks smaller, I think we have one very interesting orders and, uh, and that gives us confidence that those are the vectors which will grow in, in future. In domestic ethanol business is doing pretty well on the back of uh, blending mandate, which now the government has come up with a 10% uh, mandate with the OMCs. And the tender which oil ma marketing companies have placed out in the market for 2.6 billion liters constitutes about 10% uh, of blending uh, for Indian market, uh, which is very significant. And second significant point there is that the ethanol prices have moved uh, to uh, close to 49 rupees, wh which is probably one of the highest in the world. So I think that, that really gives a good feeling 
uh, for ethanol manufacturers and ethanol producers that a good investment uh, can be made and we are seeing some good mm -hmm. interest in that area. So I think it's a, it's a good mix back to have. All right, Mr. Nabal, before we uh, wrap up this conversation, just one final question. Uh, that order on Petrobas, it was uh, delayed a tad bit. Uh, what exactly is happening over there? Uh, it's still on hold. Uh, we hope that in the next uh, couple of weeks that would get sorted out and we'll get a clear direction on that. No chance of cancellation? Uh, no, I mean, we at, at this point in time, we are looking very optimistically at that. All right. We leave it at that, Mr. Nabar. Appreciate you joining.